A common question one could ask about fuel cell is its voltage. Yes, the question is, what is the potential difference between the fuel cell terminals? We know that the electrical work done is the product of charge and potential. Here, E is the potential difference between the fuel cell terminals, and Q is the total charge transferred in the fuel cell reaction, which is expressed in coulombs per mole. Now the question is, how much charge will be transferred in a fuel cell reaction per mole of hydrogen? It's pretty simple. In order to calculate the charge transferred per mole of hydrogen, we have to see the number of molecules per mole of hydrogen. Then, number of electrons per hydrogen molecule. Then, charge per electron. Now, I repeat the same, with its corresponding values. Charge transferred per mole of hydrogen, Q depends on, the number of molecules per mole of hydrogen. number of electrons per hydrogen molecule and charge per electron product of these three gives us the charge transferred per mole of hydrogen and this is the Q that we need substituting the value of Q in this equation we get this expression for electrical work as the product of these two parameters is a most familiar number called Faraday's constant, the expression can be simplified as follows. Also, we know that the work done by the fuel cell is the change in Gibbs free energy. Substituting this expression here, we get the following equation. If you substitute the value of Gibbs free energy at standard temperature and pressure, you will be left with the cell potential of 1.23 volts, which is the theoretical fuel cell voltage at standard temperature and pressure. Practically, it's even lesser. For many applications, obviously this small voltage is not enough. Hence many number of fuel cells are stacked in series to get more voltage. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.